Hey guys, uh, welcome back to section two of unit four. And um, we are going to uh, stay on page 44 just for a little bit because I want to talk about um, something. This is just a, a little bit of review for us um, with grammar. So uh, just a little quick review. We are going to talk about the present continuous and with the present continuous, uh, how do we form the present continuous? We form the present continuous by using the verb to be plus the verb. So to be is the helping verb here. Then we have our regular verb plus ing. And if we are going to form a yes or no question, um, to ask the question, you start out with to be, the verb, the to be verb, plus the subject of the sentence, plus the verb, plus ing. So for instance, if we take a look at <clears throat> this guy right here, okay? So my yes or no question, my question would be, is he sitting? Is he sitting? <clears throat> Repeat after me. Is he sitting? And the answer is either yes or no. So is he? Is he sitting? So the answer would be no. He is. So now we're answering the question. We start with our subject. Then we have our to be, for, to be verb is, he is, and stand is our verb, plus ing, no, he is standing, right? <clears throat> Let's see. Let's look at these two right here, right? Let's look at these two right here. And is she talking? Is she talking? right now. So it looks like she's talking to the doctor. So we would say, yes, she is talking. Okay. She is talking. What about this lady right here? I think her name is Rosa. No, that's not Rosa. Rosa is the little girl. So this lady right here, is she cooking? <clears throat> is she cooking? And the answer is no, she is sitting, <laughs> right? She is sitting. Here's Maria, and I pull this image into this page to make it easier so we're not going back and forth, back and forth. But here we have Maria. Is Maria, does Maria, does she, or does Maria have a headache? <clears throat> does Maria have a headache? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. And we will learn a little bit more about that. <clears throat> Luis. Luis, does he have a sore throat? Does he have a sore throat? Yes, he does. He's holding his throat. So yes, he has a sore throat. Let's take a look at Gabrielle. Does he have a cold? Does he have a cold? No, he doesn't. Okay, all right. <clears throat> Let's look at this, at, at uh, this lady right here. Does she have a stomach ache? Does she have a stomach ache? No, she doesn't. Who has a stomach ache in this picture? Rosa. Does Rosa have a stomach ache? Yes, she does. Okay, and let's see who else. Um, this guy right here. Does he have a sore throat? 
Does he have a sore throat? Is he holding his throat? Nah. He has a tissue over his nose, which means he's blowing his nose, which means he's, he probably has a cold. Okay, so this is just a little review for our um, present continuous that we have been studying. Okay, so let's move on to the next page in this unit. We're going to go to page 45. <clears throat> and you see uh, in page 45 or on page 45, we are going to identify common health problems, identify remedies or solutions or ways to fix that problem. And then we're going to learn to write a note to excuse absence from school or work or something like that. Right. You see these different people, they've got different things going on. They're holding different parts of their body. And um, we are going to listen to a conversation. Now, the conversation we're going to listen to will be the same conversation for exercise A and exercise B. OK, it's the same conversation for exercise A and exercise B. And so you see the letter A right here. So when you listen to the conversation, it will start out with conversation A and you'll hear two people talking to each other. And um, when you hear them talking to each other, you have to de decide which picture are they talking about? Which picture? is the conversation that's taking place. Which picture talks about a headache? Which picture talks about, you know, whatever's going on here? And then whatever that letter is, they'll say conversation A, conversation B, et cetera. Whatever that letter is, you put it next to the number, okay? That's for section A. Then for B, you're going to hear the same conversation, but it's important to listen to hear exactly what they say in the conversation. I will play it twice, okay? So one, you'll either hear, I'm so in conversation A, you'll either hear, I'm sorry to hear it, I'm sorry to hear that, I'm so or I'm sorry about that. And you have to circle the one that you hear. And you can see in conversation A, they've already given you the example that you will hear, I am sorry to hear that. So it's important to pay careful attention. But I'm going to go ahead and play the uh, conversation right now. As soon as I can get to it, sorry. It disappeared on me. Okay, we're having a little technical issue, so I'll be right back. Okay, so let's listen to the conversations. Unit four, health. Page 45, exercises 2A and 2B. Track 33. Conversation A. What's the matter? You aren't reading. No, I'm not. Why not? I have a headache. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Conversation B. Are you all right? No, not really. I have a fever. Get some rest. I hope you get well soon. Thank you. I'm sure I will. Conversation C. What's the matter? I have a sprained ankle. A sprained ankle? Try an ice pack. Thanks for the advice. I hope it gets better soon. 
Thanks. I'm sure it will. Conversation D. Are you okay? No, not really. I have a stomach ache. A stomach ache? That's too bad. Yes, a really bad stomach ache. Well then, take it easy. Thanks, I will. Conversation E. You don't look well. What's wrong? I have a sore throat. Oh, I'm sorry. Get some rest. Thank you. I will. Conversation F. You don't look well. What's wrong? I have an earache. An earache, huh? Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. So that's the end of the conversations. <clears throat> Let me say that um, uh, some of you, your book might look a little different. Um, the pictures in your book might look a little different. But the conversations are the same. Okay, everything else is the same. So <clears throat> um, I played it for the first part. Now I'm going to play it for the second part. Okay, so we are going to listen to it again. And I moved the image over here because I wanted to us to be able to I want you to be able to see me so that we can kind of talk. Um I'm going to go back to the next page so you can see the image much larger and then we'll come back to this page. But I want you to listen to the audio again. This time we're going to go over this section of the audio. So the first one we listened to was for this part. Now we're going to listen to it again for this part right here, okay? Unit four, health, page 45. Exercises 2A and 2B. Track 33. Conversation A. What's the matter? You aren't reading. No, I'm not. Why not? I have a headache. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Conversation B. Are you all right? No, not really. I have a fever. Get some rest. I hope you get well soon. Thank you. I'm sure I will. Conversation C. What's the matter? I have a sprained ankle. A sprained ankle? Try an ice pack. Thanks for the advice. I hope it gets better soon. Thanks. I'm sure it will. Conversation D. Are you okay? No, not really. I have a stomach ache. A stomach ache? That's too bad. Yes, a really bad stomach ache. Well then, take it easy. Thanks, I will. Conversation E. You don't look well. What's wrong? I have a sore throat. Oh, I'm sorry. Get some rest. Thank you, I will. Conversation F. You don't look well. What's wrong? I have an earache. An earache, huh? Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's come back to this page right here. 
And so let's talk about <clears throat> what uh, just happened, right? So we heard the different conversations. So let's go through exercise one. I'm sorry, exercise 2A, and then we will go through 2B. So 2A, A would go with number two because she has a headache, right? Number two, she has a headache. Or I'm sorry, conversation A, she has a headache. Conversation B was about the person had a fever. So which number should be associated with conversation B? Fever, right here. The thing in his mouth is a thermometer. Let's see if I can type it on here. The thing in his mouth is a thermometer. Okay, that's what it is, a thermometer. And the thermometer, the thermometer is what tells you how warm your body temperature is. And that lets you know if you have a fever or not. Okay, so conversation B is letter, is number six. Conversation C was about a sprained ankle and that's right here. Notice how she's holding her ankle. Let me go to a bigger image. Notice how she's holding her ankle right here. <clears throat> and we talked about that a little earlier. She's obviously in pain. Look at her face. And she's holding her ankle. So conversation C is about a sprained ankle. Conversation D, he had a stomach ache. That's number three. So conversation D, the letter D would go here with number three. He has a stomach ache, right? Conversation E, he had a sore throat. Sore throat. You see him holding his throat right here. <clears throat> so the letter E would go next to number one. And then conversation F, she had an earache. An earache. And you can see she's holding her ear right here in pain. She has an earache. So number one is E. Number two is A. Number three is D. Number four is C. Number five is F. And number six is B. Now let's go to the second part in our conversation. And you heard him say, I'm sorry to hear that, right? Now, which one did you hear for conversation B? Did you hear, I hope it gets better soon? Did you hear, I hope you get better soon? Or did you hear, I hope you get well soon? Conversation B, the answer is, I hope you get well soon. Okay, um, conversation C, did you hear, I hope it gets better soon, or I hope you get better soon, or I hope you get well soon. Well, the answer for this one is, I hope you, I'm sorry, I hope <laughs> it gets better soon. That's conversation C. Conversation D, did you hear, that's too bad, that's terrible, or I'm sorry. Which one? That's too bad, that's terrible, or I'm sorry. Conversation D is, that's too bad. Okay. Conversation E, did you hear, that's too bad? Oh, I'm sorry, or that's terrible. Which one? Conversation E was, oh, I'm sorry. And then conversation F, did you hear, that's too bad? Oh, that's terrible or I'm sorry. Conversation F is, I'm sorry. <laughs> so that is exercises 2A and 2B on page 45. 
we'll wrap up this part of it and then we'll come right back for section three.